Imagine that I want to make a compilation of LibGDX games. It will be nice to have a launcher with a nice menu to select a game and play immediately. I do not want to spend the time recoding each of these games to work in the same window. I might even need to pass some variables to these games before I run it. This is something I actually had to do with some game prototypes I made with a group of children. I compiled each game to an executable jar file for this example. However, this technique I'd like to show you can be adapted to run any kind of file as you see fit. First thing, this is not a tutorial on making a menu in scene2d.ui. Download the starter project in the description if you want to follow along. Okay, we have a basic menu here with two buttons that do nothing. We'll start by making a staging area. I'll make a subfolder to place my compiled games and paste the jar files. We're going to get into the code and write the following method for convenience. We'll utilize runtime.getRuntime to execute system commands. Note that the command code you write is platform specific, so you might want to add an if else chain for more platform specific commands. This can be a dangerous method, so take care to not expose its functionality to users. All we have to do now is write the button listener code for the buttons. If we pass in the relative paths for the files to our method, each button will launch its corresponding game successfully. I'm going to compile the launcher app and place it in our staging area. Let's test it now. That's all there is to it. With some modifications to the run local game method, you can even make a game launcher that passes arguments to your main game or sets environment variables. Perhaps you can even make a game updater and download a new executable from your server. If you'd like to learn more about runtime.getRuntime, see the links in the description. Good luck!